Hello, this is Vern, and if you've ever been tempted to lower your standards in order to get a guy or to avoid somebody else snatching him because she's giving him more than you're willing to give him, well, on today's episode, my dear, I'm going to share with you why that might be the worst decision you can make and what you can do instead starting today. Hello, this is Vern, and welcome to your great life tv.com today is another edition of get the love you crave and on today's episode i'm going to be sharing with you why you don't want to lower your standards in order to get a guy despite the fact that all the women are lowering their standards and you feel potentially that by them lowering their standards he could actually choose one of them instead of you i was having a conversation this morning with a beautiful client of mine who was telling me that she didn't want to give in to sex early on with guys, but she's a little scared that all the women are more than willing to give in far sooner than she is. And her fear is that if she doesn't do the same thing, that other guys are going to, I mean, that the guys are gonna be snatched by one of these women who are basically being more proactive and more free to open themselves in ways that she really doesn't feel like doing. So logically, this would be like you saying, well, you know what? Uh, there's this car out in the marketplace, and let's say it's a Chevy Malibu. Uh, nothing against Chevy Malibus, just don't happen to like them personally, but nothing against them. Quality car, good company, good warranty, all the things, right? It takes you from point A to point B as much as a luxury car will. It's just, just a car I just don't happen to like too much. <laughs> but imagine that you think, well, that car right now is being offered with $3,000 discount, uh, free cooler, lifetime washes, 0% interest for 72 months, and uh, no payments on top of that for the next 30 months. Why on earth would somebody who has the ability to get that car, quality car with all those benefits, would actually get his name online to purchase a Rolls-Royce Wraith or a Ferrari GTC for Luso or a Pagani or a <laughs> you know, another car that's exotic and expensive, because those cars, here's the thing, they have zero discounts. You usually have to pay, before, I mean, get in line and sometimes pay a deposit, big deposit before you get uh, one of them in your hands. And the thing with those cars is they get you from point A to point B, but there's no discounts, no financial incentives of any sort, uh, significantly more expensive. You're paying $400,000 for a car, right? Or if it's one of the other ones that I mentioned, it could be a million dollars to two million dollars for a car. So in your line of thinking, if you're saying, well, why would somebody put money in that car versus the Chevy Malibu that has all those offers? Well, here's what I have to say to you. It's not the same guy, okay? The same guy who's buying the Chevy Malibu will not be the guy who's buying the Ferrari GTC for Luso. Two different guys. They're not bad. One is not better than the other one. They're just different. Now, if you feel like because other women are doing things you don't want to do that you have to do the same, then you're putting yourself in the category of that car that has the discount and 25 offers and no APR. There is no need for that. There is a market, a substantial market for luxury vehicles that are classy and incredibly expensive and uh, incredible machinery. There's a market for that. But if you, if you feel like the guy will not actually want you because you have higher standards, then you don't understand that there's going to be other guys who actually will only like you because you have higher standards. There's cars that if the car, if it, if there's people that if they, the car is more available, they don't feel it's unique enough, so they're not interested in it. Now, I'm not giving you, telling you what to do or not to do. I'm just saying right now to you that, and it's not just sexual standards, it's standards of every different kind of variety. If you don't feel like you should pursue the guy, but other women are pursuing the guy, don't have to do it. If you don't feel like uh, there's certain things that, maybe last minute booty call type dates, you don't feel like doing them, you don't have to do them, even though all the women are doing them. Why? Because you are going to attract a different quality guy than the one who is not willing to go the distance. So the moral of the story right now is there are different guys and different standards, and there's going to be more guys who are able to afford that less expensive car. But there's still a significant number who can afford the more expensive one and will gratefully do so and feel very unique driving it and feel happy that they didn't get free cooler and free lifetime car washes because they didn't need it, okay? 
Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful to you, my beautiful woman, in some way. And if it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel, somewhere here. There's a button you can subscribe. And number three, most important of all, on the description of this video, the first line of the description of this video, you're going to find a link that will directly, immediately direct you to a page that will click on the yellow page, enter your name and email, and it's going to take you to a masterclass that I created for you that will share with you how you can raise your value and connect with the kind of man that you want without having to lower your standards. It's a much more in-depth presentation than this short one, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.